Okay. Well, about 10 to 5 this morning, uh, we received a private fire alarm call to Extreme Entertainment. And uh, on arrival, our crews found no fire. Couldn't see any fire, uh, but the fire alarm was obviously activating. So they um, were waiting for a key holder to arrive, but before the key holder arrived, they, uh, they weren't very happy with what they saw inside. They thought they could see a bit of flickering and, and a bit of hazy sort of smoke, so or haziness. So they actually broke a, a window to gain access and um, took a hose line into the building um, and extended it right down to the far end of the building. It's a bowling alley, so it's quite an expansive building. And um, found a fire down near the, uh, the pin end of the bowling alley. Um, quite a reasonable fire going down there. The building was starting to quickly fill up with smoke, um, so we were quite concerned that the fire was going to spread throughout the rest of the building. So we had a fourth alarm attendance here to get in more um, crews for breathing apparatus wearing and to relieve the crews that had already gone in. Um, we had uh, basically four deliveries uh, attacking the fire, extinguishing the fire. Uh, once that was extinguished, um, we've been working for the last two hours now just to clear the smoke from the premises. And uh, there's a, a few pockets and a few rooms in there that are proving a little bit uh, difficult. How many um, engines have attended, do you know? Uh, probably 20 engines and maybe 80 to 100 staff. Right. And nobody's been hurt as far as you know? Nobody's been hurt, no. no. Oh, yeah. And um, you're quite lucky to get here so early. Yes, yeah. Well, it was, a, it was a private fire alarm call, so the fire alarm system in the building operated to, to alert us, and it's connected to the fire service. So within sort of five or seven minutes or so of the uh, fire alarm activating, we would have had a crew here, so it happens quite quickly. Um, the building didn't have a sprinkler system, which uh, if it had done, it would have uh, worked to um, actively extinguish the fire prior to our arrival. So um, uh, we didn't have the benefit of that, but um, certainly getting that uh, warning from the fire alarm system allowed us to uh, stop the fire from spreading throughout the building. I can't tell you exactly the extent of the, uh, the damage to the building, uh, because I haven't been in there, but I would say given the amount of smoke that was coming out, there's probably extensive smoke damage to the building. As far as fire damage goes, um, probably extensive damage around the area where the fire was, but in terms of the proportion of the building, probably only 15, 10 to 15% of the building has been damaged by fire. What, what part of the building inside is it? Uh, it looks like it's sort of a, a plant room, equipment room uh, area around where the, uh, the, the pins on the bowling alleys are, are raised and lowered and so on. So it's around that area there. We've got investigators that are going to go in and have a good look as soon as they can get in. And it's way too early to speculate as to how it started. Yeah, yeah, it is way too early, yeah. yeah. yeah we, I mean, we know where it started, but we don't know why yet.